Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. New format for this week. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> it's good to see you all here. Yeah. Oh, well, no surprises for who's with me today. It's lovely, lovely Liz with the amazing podcast, Building Your Brand. <laughs> and also, <laughs> of course, Express Streams. Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? I am good. Thank you. It's great to see these people here. We've got lovely people in. I All know. Of our regulars are back and some new faces in there as well. We've got yeah. Caroline, Vicky, Sandrine. Tony Harmer, whoever that is. Oh, no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, Sean, good talk. Liz Mosley, I've heard of her. Um, Sandrine, yes, I think I mentioned you twice, Sandrine. Some guy called Tim. Brilliant. Well, I hope you've all had a nice break and whatever else. So you've got Liz and I for the next three days. Three days. I know, oh, what I a know. nice start back to it is, isn't it? it is, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Sean's admiring my uh, Adobe Express pillow just in the is background. <laughs> Sean's always the one for testing the background. I've got an Adobe Express cup. I saw that. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, we're repping all the Adobe Express. We are. We are. <laughs> Even mission. though we're not, we're not opening Adobe Express today, just to warn everybody. No. <laughs> yeah, just so they know. But that, but that will come along later. It on. will. It will. It yeah. will. Yes, yes, yes. Well, just a reminder to people who might be watching on YouTube, which is fine. You can do that. You can watch on YouTube if you want. But where you really should be at be.net slash Adobe Live. You can join us there and get involved in the chat. Ask questions. It's the place to be. And I don't know whether to ask you what we're doing today or whether you should be asking me what we're doing today. <laughs> or if I should say, shall we tell everybody what we're doing? What we're doing. Yeah. Let us yeah. tell everyone what we're doing. Well, we're, yes. we're doing a joint project, which is really fun. Well, uh, we're working on it together. So I've put together a little brief. It's a made up brief, but you never know. Maybe it'll come become a real thing. But yes. today we are going to be working um, on a project for Adobe Live UK. And we are going to create a bit of a sub brand for like a social media campaign for Adobe products. So the idea being that people, um, if they're like sharing their work, um, then they might want to use some of the sort of designs and templates we're going to make um, to promote, you know, what they've made, what software they've used to, used to make it. I think, um, yeah, lots of people are always interested in what you've used to make things or how things are done. So this is just going to be like a little fun way that people can, yeah, share what they've made their work in. Um, and so I guess like the audience for this project is going to be creatives who use yeah. Adobe products, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, and the idea being that they will, whatever we design, they will end up using mainly on social media um yeah and so I just put a few words together of the kind of like feel that I thought it would be fun to go for so like I mean it couldn't be anything else with me and you do <laughs> me and you doing this so it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be playful yeah. um quite like striking and bold um yeah so I'm I'm excited I think it should yeah. hopefully turn out well we're going to have fun. This is, it's, it, I love doing new explorations in things. And this is, you know, this is we're, that we're launching this format together, which is kind I of. Know, nice. Yeah. I feel like we're the guinea pigs. So uh, hopefully it'll go well. <laughs> and by the way, kudos on getting the office move sorted out before, <laughs> yeah. before this morning. So I think when we spoke earlier this morning, it was just like, yeah, still doing it. <laughs> yeah. I've got a nice green wall. You can't see it, but it's the other yeah. side. So yeah, I was up painting last night, getting it all ready. But yeah, it's yeah, all good. <laughs> right awesome. then. Okay. So you let's take it away then, Liz, and I'll join in later. Okay, perfect. Well, what I would normally do, so I'm kind of thinking, although we're not sort of creating one logo for this project, I'm kind of thinking of it like a little mini brand project, brand design project. So yeah. um, what I usually start off with, like with clients, is a whole bunch of research. Um, but we're going to start off today with creating a mood board. So I always find that helpful with clients just to just to make sure that I'm sort of visually going in the right direction and that I've understood their brief correctly. Um, so that is what we're going to start with today. So what I'm going to do is head over. I'm going to start off in Behance because I find yeah. that's always like a fun place to sort of have a look and see what other people have been um, working on. 
what I'm going to start with searching is stickers because I think the sort of feel that we're going to go for is creating like a set of stickers and it's always fun to see what pops up um I always like seeing these ones by uh Matt Voice yeah he's, he's a good example as well where I really like how he um takes a color palette and then just makes a whole load of different stickers that all sort of work well within that color palette yes he does so that's cool I kind of think of this this bit in a project as you know like you're running at the moment and that sort of activity before you start anything like that you stretch a bit right and you mm-hmm. warm up and yes. this is kind of a way of creatively doing that right that's a really good way to think of it yeah creatively mm-hmm. stretching before we yeah. get started I like these ones again you can sort of see how they've got like a really tight color palette but there's lots of different like fonts and shapes which I think could be mm. quite fun I feel like these are really this sort of style is quite popular at the moment yeah there's like so much stuff on here which is cool it's like this kind of thing so yeah I thought maybe I found quite a few on Pinterest as well so, oh I like this one that's cool I think um well well we're gonna come on to looking at fonts in a bit but I think some fun and playful fonts we should definitely yeah, include cool. in our designs yes. melanie likes our brief by the way oh good which is good <laughs> yeah phew <laughs> that's good um so yeah like, i'm gonna have a look i always i don't know where 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 are your favorite places to look for like inspiration tony i also look like looking in pinterest as well yeah uh, I, I i look in i look in behance a lot yeah, the um, I do look at Pinterest. Also, just sometimes Google a term. Yeah, yeah, that's and just have point. a look and see what turns up. Um, and I, I build because I draw a lot. I build, um, I build my boards in a couple of different places. Behance, of course, you can build them straight away there. Similar deal with Pinterest, but otherwise, I use, um, I just copy them out and put them into Pure Ref. Okay, and just create boards from there, and that way, I've got something that floats around on my screen nice oh that's cool mm. so well what i'm gonna do today is create the mood board in um this illustrator file i'm just gonna just yep. so that we can keep everything together so i saved a few i did have a little bit of a look before and i saved a few things so what i'm gonna do is place them on and just sort of arrange the mood board um so let's find where i saved them all so I'll just bring those in for now. Okay. By the way, Sean's made a funny in the chat already. <laughs> I bet he has. Yeah. Where do you go for inspiration? He said Tony looks behind himself. That is actually also true. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, look you've over got here or over there or any quite of the a seven library, haven't you? Front of me. <laughs> oh, I love that everyone's sharing where they go. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, Sandrine. Sandrine goes everywhere. Yeah, la- I like the um, letter form archives. That's a great call. Mm. So I've got a few different things here, which I'm going to get on this um, on this mood board. One, so when I was sort of having a look around, I w- was really struck by this idea of having sort of black, but then with rainbow colours or quite bright mm. colours. So I've saved. I really love this. <clears throat> like typography I think that's really nice so I've saved a whole bunch of kind of rainbow but with like monochrome as well and I'm just going to get these quickly into this mood board um so yeah like and then that. what I what I'd normally do is um well, it kind of depends on the brief but I would either create a couple of mood boards sort of on a theme almost um, and then with like a little bit of description to explain it to the client. Um, and then they can sort of have a look and see which one's looking right. I don't know. What what do you do? How do you present your mood boards to clients? In a PDF, yeah. generally. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Do you like talk it through with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but basically a, a screen share with a PDF in full screen mode. Is, yeah, the, is the nice. way that it works for me so yeah 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 do you ever um i mean i think often with these things it's better to do it in person isn't it? or like i said well yeah. in person on zoom um or you know in person if you can but often sometimes if there's like little things i need to update clients with like recording a little video is quite nice mm. so then they can hear your explanation yeah 
give them get i mean it's a good idea to package everything up in a in a neat way i think yeah. um who's the uh oh getting terrible for names um the australian guy it's james oh barnard, barnard Bar uh, yeah. i always say his name wrong Barnard. <laughs> Bernard, Bernard, Barnard. <laughs> he was a <laughs> guest on the word? podcast, and I basically yeah. got you know when you like say a word and then you start to doubt yourself. And so somewhere on Instagram, he's got a whole list of voice notes from me just saying his name over and over again. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like I was saying, I think I was saying Bernard, Bernard, or I, you know, yeah. I was putting the emphasis wrong. Anyway, sorry. Carry yeah. on with your what you were saying. <laughs> But no, no, I mean, packaging things up, visualizing things for people mm. takes them because th there's a thing when, so back in, the, I, I still like to present things in sketch form wherever I can. Yeah. Because it doesn't look like you've gone, it doesn't look like they're excluded from the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you've already gone a certain way. Uh, you yes. know, you, you've already kind of made the decision for them, basically, is, is this thing. Mm. Um but otherwise, I, tr I try and package it up so they do have a sense of owning it. Depends. You, you kind of get to know what people are like. New clients are always the worst because you don't yeah. know what they're like. So, you know, it's tricky. I think that's so true, isn't it? Like you, like everyone works slightly differently. And so getting to know your client really helps um, know how to sort of, yeah, I guess manage them sounds wrong, but how, how to work with them as effectively as possible. Mm. I mean, fortunately, I don't. I don't have, I, I, I can't think how old my newest client is, I guess, maybe three years, I think. Yeah, so, you, as in you've got lots of like clients. I've got people I've worked for a long time. Yeah, so yeah. the longest one would be 30 years. Okay. So. Wow. That's amazing. Kind of a while. Yeah. Like a comfy pair of slippers. I think I am to them, you know, <laughs> easy to tread on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Feet warm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really like these sort of hand-drawn ones. I, I'm always I'm always drawn to, like, sort of illustrated stuff and hand-drawn stuff. But um, I it like how they... less machine -y. Yeah, I like how they've taken the sort of sticker theme and, like, made it hand-drawn nice mm. I'm, I'm loving all the bright colors on a very gray tuesday morning <laughs> <laughs> it's also, a bit grim today isn't it, is it is. yeah it is i got absolutely soaked on the school run this morning <laughs> oh no um, well i went down to the bank to pay a check-in somebody sent me a check that right. is that that makes me cross now I'm it like, makes what? me cross i know <laughs> but the worst thing is it's it's customs and excise so it's like my vi <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a check from VAT refund. Oh no! And so they can find me if I don't do everything digitally. That's outrageous, isn't <laughs> but it? But they can just send me a check, and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> that is <outrageous>. honestly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Oliver in the chat's gone. Oh, what? It's a piece <laughs> of. It's like a piece of paper, Oliver, that people used to write a number on and sign it. And then you could take it to a bank and they would say, yes, this means this much money. And so this would... is, uh, so what do you think, Tony? This is what my mood board is like looking it. like. Some like fun, playful. Yeah. I think it's like hitting the brief. It's like bold and bright. Mm. We've got the sort of striking blacks contrasting with the rainbow colors. I think this is really fun. This sort of uh, yeah, newspaper thing. So, yeah. So what um, I'm going to move on to next is... So, because basically, yeah, we're working on this project together. So we're going to sort of have a look at the color palette, going to have a look at fonts, and then we're going to pass things over to you and you're going to start yes. um, designing. So yes. as I mentioned, I'm thinking that I want to go have black as a sort of prominent color. But then what I'm going to do is have five um, brighter colors here. Now, because Adobe Live UK is the client, I want to use the colors from the adobe products so yeah. i've got a let me just place in i've got a screenshot that i grabbed of oh here it is of just like the thumbnails Ooh, from the yeah, youtube thumbnails. yeah 
So I'm going to use this now. We were, now obviously if it's like if, a bingo card. I, yeah, <laughs> in visual, like, in visual form. Yes, I was just make, trying to make sure that I got all the different um, colors of the thumbnails, yep. so that we can put those in. But I, obviously, um, you know, when you're working with a client, you if they've already got an established brand, then you would get like the colors from them. Mm. Obviously, sometimes that doesn't necessarily work. Um, but so I'm just going to use the pipette tool to get the colors that I want from these thumbnails. But obviously yeah. before this sort of went live, you know, you'd want to check with the client that everything was really adhering to their like brand guidelines and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, sometimes they don't know, do they? I mean, that is you true. Know, I know that we've spoken yeah. about this fairly but, recently that yeah. you'll go to a client and go, so your brand colors <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, <laughs> or you'll say have you got like the hex codes or the rgb yeah. and they're like you what and then you're like yeah. Oh, okay <laughs> yeah it's sort of a well we've got a red and a sort of a orange and then something that's less orange but still a bit red so it's sort of a yellow but <laughs> yeah you go okay fine and so what i'm going to do is go and search a load of your previous messaging and just <laughs> yeah find totally. what i think is going to work from there so i think I th I'm thinking this because I think we've got all the sort of like bright. It's very. Yeah. It's still got that rainbowy feel. We've got a lot of the bright colors from the mood board, but yes. it will still be on brand because it's sort of covering all the different products. And we've got so. Yeah. Hang on, let's think. We've got Illustrator. We've got InDesign. Yeah. We've got Photoshop. We've got Aero. Aero, and we've got Premiere Pro. Oh, no, yeah. is that? Yeah, or no, yeah, Premier Pro, well, well, you could just say video because yeah, video, video and audio all share the same, nice. same yeah. mnemonic. So but, I think yeah. we've covered almost everything mm. with that. So that's all good. Okay, perfect. So it's all starting to come together. Um, oh, there's some questions in the chat. Sorry, I just had a glance over and now I've seen... David Cousin says, yeah, speaking of colours. Yeah, I was colors, just going to read that. Yeah, read yeah. it to me, and then I'll keep yeah, going. So, yeah, he was saying, speaking of colours, could you please ask Liz, I'm doing it now, David, just for <laughs> you, uh, what the colour swatch cards that were part of her 12 Days of Christmas competition were called? I might um, buy some. They're Ooh. called swatchos, and they're really good. What I like about them is they're on, like, little, they're, like, credit card size, and they come in a box, and you can move them around, so you can, it's really easy then to play around with colour palettes and get a feel... Um, but yeah, swatches. They're, I would definitely recommend. They're really nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sarah in the chat. Sarah in the chat has just said, uh, "Tony's on those bingo cards." <laughs> what? Because it's crazy by that outfit. <laughs> also, Tim's like, "You could have just asked me for the brand color." <laughs> Which obviously, yeah, we could have done. <laughs> that would have been an easier, easier route to go down. Right. I'm gonna head back over into Adobe Fonts so that we can start yes. having some fonts that we want to use. Yes. Um I so what I usually do is head over to all fonts because I really like this panel where you can start sort of picking Filtering like they, it they, it's yeah. all like tagged and stuff. So I'm gonna have a look and see make a list of some that i like so i'm going to start off with funky and see what i find um Ooh. i i could literally spend like days <laughs> looking at oh these. no <laughs> it's dangerous eventually you just gotta pick i actually think this one's quite fun quirkwood i like nudge wink yeah that's cool david's saying thank you by the way oh no worries <laughs> Um, I'll have a look through and then I'll sort of start picking some. Gambardo. That we can... Yeah, Gambardo, I think I'm going to add mm. to my list. There's like, I love, I also love on here, like, actually, I find this a good place to go for inspiration just for, you know, how the fonts have been mocked up. Like, yeah. I love these little thumbnails where you see them in use because mm -hmm. there's some like good. Ooh. Juniper. So I make quite a lot of um, really ornate uh, stuff for some of my work. Mm. And I use a place called Letterhead Fonts. Oh, okay. They are, and they're, they're like classic and antique, in the main, classic and antique um, fonts that they've bought there. And they're just lovely. I used to set myself a thing of buying three a month until oh. I'd got... <laughs> until <laughs> 
Good to live it yourself. <laughs> I've bought quite a lot. I haven't bought all of them, but I did because you get a deal on three. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have bought quite a lot of them. One um, one Christmas, my family asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and there were some fonts I really wanted. Um, and so I like sent a list to my brother, and he bought them for me. But they had really rude names. <laughs> I don't know why they just like not really rude but like just not what you yeah, expect yeah, yeah. Not, so everyone yeah. would be like what did you get Liz for Christmas and he'd be like oh I got her one of them was like condom font or something and I was like <laughs> so that was an interesting one right anyway I'm getting distracted let me go what I'm gonna That's do right. is make my them family up. my family don't think Helvetica is a Christmas movie but <laughs> what do they know <laughs> Oh, funny. Right. I'm just going to make a note of a couple of the ones I want. So I want Nudge Wink, which I've already got activated, and Gambardo. So I'm just going to go and put those in here so that we've just got a reference for them. Jeffrey in the chat has just said, what font? <laughs> I just love this. What <laughs> font would best be used to represent your classy beard? <laughs> Oh, I I saw one. I'm gonna go back and find a font for your beard because I think I'm envious of your beard. Thanks. <laughs> I saw a font that I think will work. I'm gonna what, go and my find. Beard? Yeah, that would be a good representation. I'm gonna go find it in a second. Oh, right, so I'm just gonna write them in just because obviously you're gonna be taking over on this, and then you'll know. My classic thing is using fonts and outlining them and then forgetting what they are. But I think you can get plugins that solve that problem for yeah, you. Yeah, so Astute Graphics do one called Vector nice. First Aid and that oh. will unoutline fonts, provided the fonts are still on your system. Right, okay, that's good to yeah. know. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I think it was Gambardo. I just like that word, let alone the- Gamb uh, I know, it's very satisfying. Great word. <laughs> Okay, let me go back. I want to find the font that I think is a good representation of your beard. <laughs> I'm sure it was in this. Is it called Beardy McBeard Beard? <laughs> no, but it was called Silver Something. Oh, wicked. I love it. Where is it? It was definitely in Silver this. Grey. Yes, don't I think that is I think that's a great one. Oh right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, oh right, Hobo. Oh, it's because I've got silver grey written in there. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Hobo <laughs> with Coco. Yeah, Hobo yeah, yeah, with yeah, Coco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I've got silver. I've got it already. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen you use it. I really like that. That's really yeah. nice. I think it's a bit ornate for what we're going for today, but yeah, I do like it. Yeah, probably not, not really in the brand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I like this one. Bad tip or type. So let me just add that one in. so easy with adobe fonts isn't it it's so good yeah it's really easy yeah i just love that i can find something and turn it on and then it's there in seconds yeah. there's a there's a group that i'm a member of in uh in the us and they've got their membership at the moment is having a meltdown over the adobe stopping support for type one Oh. Postscript type one, like really, really old technology. Yeah. Um, from there, but they're having an, uh, any of them that watch this are going to be upset with me now because they not that I've ever commented on it because I just think, <laughs> oh, come on, things move on. <laughs> <laughs> so but no, so much easier. Back in the day, Liz. You used to have to restart and all sorts when you, you know, when you installed a font. Yeah. And just like having to store them all, like on yeah. your computer. Exactly. I would, I do dread to think how much I've spent on fonts over the last, well, yeah, you, you probably got longer, longer period to have spent more, but I have definitely spent a lot of money on fonts. Mm. So good though. Yeah, no, it. it's good. Me too. Have you ever designed your own? Yes. Yeah, Have I've you? done maybe a dozen, um, a dozen different fonts. I think. Have you maybe like just maybe a little bit more than that? Thinking about it. 
Have you done them for clients or have you sold them or what have you done? Done a couple them? for clients. Uh, others have been specifically, well, a couple have been for demos. Um, a couple have been for courses. Uh, so put my own into a couple of courses. But oh, uh, yeah, it's a whole mixture. Cool. Um, and a, a, at least one or two have been just for giggles. But, well, that's always, just to try that's something always fun. Yeah, it's always good. Like <clears> a little personal projects to try... Oh, you introduced me to this one the other day, which I really like. Netplus. Yes. Oh, yeah, when we were chatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's one that I can't I like find. It. Let me have a look. Sandrine, actually, in the chat, she, um, we exchanged a couple of messages yesterday on LinkedIn because she did my LinkedIn course on Font Self. Oh, nice. And designed her first font, which is really good. I've only done ones where I've done it sort of like from my handwriting. Yeah. Um, which is really like really fun and easy to do. And I what I did was I created one of my handwriting and then I uploaded it to Adobe Express. And now I use that for some of my social media posts so that I'm not having to like write everything from scratch each time. And it saved me so much time. I love it. I remember a lot quite a long time ago, actually, probably around about 2006 seeing an experimental font from a french foundry handwriting font that did um did glyph substitution okay had an algorithm and it would just keep swapping out so you had to create a whole bunch of different glyphs which you yeah. can do anyway but you have yeah. to change them manually but this thing could actually do it and just make sure it didn't look repetitive but it still looked like it was the same hand okay. and it really did look like handwriting but it never came to anything i didn't see that, that I mean, that is yeah, that's impressive. If it yeah. if it does it so that it doesn't, you can't tell mm. it's a font. Okay, I like that I, post the cuts very yeah, soul bass. It's, yeah, very soul bass. Yeah, yeah I really yeah. like that one. So I think I've tried to go for ones that are quite sort of like bold and chunky. I kind of like that we've got a a little bit more ornate one in there, but I think that'll give us like enough to play with. Um, because I think if we're gonna do. I like the plan is to do like a few different designs so we can have like different fonts in there, but tie everything together with the, the sort of color palette. Mm. Um, so I've got some sketches that I did. Yay! Here's some I prepared earlier. Yeah, here's some I prepared. <laughs> don't judge me. They were very quick sketches. But, I um, judge you. <laughs> but basically, oh this is the <laughs> sort of... <laughs> This is the sort of thing that I was thinking that we could do. So uh, like yeah. we, I know we talked about this before, sort of creating ones for different products. So, and I know you've got a couple of ideas as well. Yeah. So we've got, I love Adobe Express, yes. um, made in After Effects. With a, it doesn't have to be, it could maybe be the After Effects sort of like, um, you know, like little, yeah, mnemonic, that's yeah. the word I was yeah. looking for, or rather than yeah. smiley face. And then Photoshop fun times. So yeah, just thinking of like, just fun ways that we can play around with type and um, like the it. different, yeah, different things. Yeah. So now if we normally, what we would do if we were working on this together, I, I'm not sure if many people in the chat have used this yet, but obviously there's a big blue button up here now that says share. And so you can just click on that and you can invite either well so they've got a beta of share for review so that's probably what you would use if you were working with a client and then they mm. could sort of mark up comments on your file so you're not having to like export it to a pdf then make a load of notes on the pdf you can have all their notes sort of right in the document um or you can invite to edit so this is what i would do like in this sort of uh section yeah. i would invite you to edit but um yes. just to keep things simple we're not going to do it right now but i just wanted to flag yeah. it up because it is such a useful tool. and also so we're not sharing each other's email addresses <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> live you might get live. a lot of uh, a lot of fan yeah, mail. <laughs> yeah. not as much as you well but... <laughs> um so yeah so that is sort of where we've got to so let me just go back yes. and talk through so we've got our brief here which is we're going to create some designs a sort of sub brand for adobe live uk for our different products we've got a mood board so we're going for this kind of like sticker feel so you're using sort of different fonts but having like a really cohesive color palette um 
Yeah. So we've got all sorts of like bold typography, stickers and illustrations, all that kind of good stuff. And then yes. with our color palette, we've taken this sort of black and rainbow theme. We've got our black background or not, not necessarily a background, but black will be incorporated in the design with our sort of yeah. rainbow colors that we've got from the different Adobe products. And then we've had a look for some sort of bold in your face typefaces which we've got here. So those are the ones that we're going to work from. And then some sketches of yes. uh, my ideas. And I know you've got, I think we're aiming to do sort of like, what is it? Maybe like five? Five different designs with some yeah. variations. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, well, like do you it. want to, um, if you want to take over and I will, I, I'll I man do. the chat for you. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, so I am going to stop your screen share and switch to mine. There we go. Oof. And just like magic. Amazing. Your sketch is in my Illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we actually talked about this before. Yes, huh? It's like we had a real plan. <laughs> Okay, right. I am just going to do some uh, screen organization on uh, on my machine just here, just for a minute, because Zoom likes to just open up on whatever screen it feels good with. So it's perfect. Right. So I've got Liz's sketch uh, or set of sketches here for inspirations. So we're going to draw some of these up. So what I'm going to do, I think I like the balance of this one so much. At the top here, I think I'm going to start with that one. Nice. I'm going to draw it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add myself a new layer. Uh, I, it's, I've got a really weird habit. I don't like drawing with a red layer. I don't oh, know Oh, interesting. I know. I'm wired incorrectly. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to drag that content down onto that layer. I don't know why it bugs me Maybe so much. Maybe it's like a little superstitious thing. Red is a bit know. of a like... I don't know, alarming colour maybe. Yeah, I, I kind of like red in in it, blue, uh, blue. I'm more drawn to blues, but I do like red. My other studio used to be red. Oh, um, nice. But I, uh, I just don't like it in Illustrator. I don't like drawing with those red lines. I don't know why. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a template layer, which is going to dim these down. Now, by default, it will dim it to 50%. I think I can afford to go down to 30 percent just here so i got to that by just double clicking on the layer in the layers panel there we go lush nice that's really good and it's locked it for you as well so you don't it has so it's all it's done good. i don't yeah. have to worry about it all i need to do what would be even nicer illustrator team should you get a chance to watch this <laughs> is yeah. when i do that just automatically make the next layer up active or something like that yeah <laughs> anyway moving on <laughs> Now we've put in our feature requests. <laughs> yes, that's it. Uh, by the way, I just started out with a, a basically a 1080p document uh, okay. here, which I, I do the majority of my of my documents in 1080p because uh -huh. they're normally associated with video. Yeah. So they're normally either a background in video or they're components made for video, and so I need that aspect ratio when I start at that. It's so funny because I always um, just automatically back, I guess from print print days, I just go for A4 landscape, mm. just like default. But yeah, that makes sense to do a video video ratio. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I used to be exactly the same. I used to just use A4 as a starting place, but because of print. But um, no, because video is such a big part of, of what goes on in here. Yeah. I kind of don't anymore. Right then, so let's uh, let's set this one up. So I am going to, I think I am going to start out with the line tool just here. So I've just tapped the backslash key on my keyboard to get to the line tool. And I'm drawing a line, cunningly named <laughs> as it is the line tool. Nice. It's going to increase the weight of that like so. And what I also want to do here, I'm kind of setting this up for the next... Uh, stroke or two that I draw here I'm going to just put round end caps on mind you that's going to shoot me in the foot in a minute I think when I go across with the next line because the next line is not going to quite have the same weight I like the fact that you've drawn it if I can just show you what I mean here I like that variation okay in weight like... in your sketch so yeah. I want to keep it so I think in this particular instance 
I'm actually going to turn the end caps off. Yeah. And then we'll do this. And I might just mix this up a little bit as well in a little while. But for the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and get a tiny bit of structure in there. Or, kind of, this is the thing, right? Because you've done something that looks really lovely in that form, you know, in its drawn form. Mm. I don't want to deviate from that too much. I'm just wondering if I should actually draw it. This is my habit, you see. My habit okay. is to then make it all neat and reusable. Right, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe I don't want to do that. I do have options yeah. for both, so I think I'll just I'll just keep keep with that just for the minute. Uh, these two, I was going to reduce their weight downwards, so they're 18. So I think I'm going to go down to 14 uh, for those. So let's bring that down to about 14 and have a look at that. Yeah, nice. I think that's a nice balance between those two. So those are my two key weights, really: 18 now and 14. Uh, for things of the same size. Yeah. So let's go ahead and draw uh, some more bits here. I think I can get away with doing quite a lot of these. Okay, in the same way. I'm going to switch to the pen tool here and just come along and just click this one in. And then I want to change the stroke here, the caps to rounded. Like nice. That. I love how easy that is to do. It is pretty straightforward right it's, mm. it's, it's good stuff uh, bring this one across i'm going to just tap i for the eyedropper oh, i did the whole thing <laughs> rats the whole thing did they manage to connect it looked like they did there we go just to bring that weight down i've got a, i've got an idea now for how i can vary this a bit more once i've drawn once i've basically created the shapes, uh, shapes okay. for it yeah cool. did you I watch like... the um oh, sorry, sorry. No, okay. I was just going to say that I like how you're, you know, like consistently using the weight. So you've got the thicker on the A and then on the bar across, it's the thinner. It's that I think that works really well. Even when it's hand drawn, you know, it's it's a good idea to just yeah. try, and, try and make it reasonably, uh, reasonably balanced. So you've got some sort of scheme in place yeah. uh, for it. What were you going to um, say? No, I was just going to say, did you watch the, uh, did you watch the rocket launch last night? Oh, no, I didn't. I was too busy painting a green wall. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Tony. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. Tell me about it. What happened? Well, uh, the rocket launched. Well, the rocket launched. Yeah, that's kind of a clue, really, And is the uh, there was there was a rocket and it launched. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Well, it was good times apart from it didn't. It, I um I was leaning out of the bathroom window. <laughs> Were you? I was, yeah. Wow. Yeah, looking. And how southwest. much did you see? Uh, I saw it. Uh, I saw it. It's maybe a maybe a minute or so. And uh, going up, it, it wow. just wasn't. You know, it wasn't like spectacular. There wasn't like a trail or anything. No. Uh, anything it's like that. Still just, pretty cool. Um, it was cool. It was, it was. Everyone in the chat thinks that you've launched a rocket. <laughs> That's just which, all which rocket are you talking about for people in the chat? It's uh, it was the uh, orbiter from that um that was launched from the Cornwall spaceport uh, okay. yesterday. So nice. That's what it was. I just wondered if if if, if there were any other nerds out there who watched. <laughs> Oh, Annika's joined in the chat and she's asking, have we saved yet, Liz? I, I saved mine. I don't think you've saved yours, do I swear, she just... <laughs> I think she logs in as somebody else and watches it for a while and thinks, now yes. I'm going to pounce. Yes. <laughs> I've, left it, I've left it a little while. Now I'll remind. <clears throat> oh, my dear. I'm just going to call it Al for the minute. There we go. <laughs> I've saved now. I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> it wouldn't be, it would, you have to wait though until Annika comes and tells you, otherwise it wouldn't be like a proper stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep Annika, Annika in that, in that vital role. Yeah. Of, of chief save coordinator <laughs> for Adobe systems. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I'm going to mess with uh, some of these weights later on anyway. So I'm just kind of, 
bringing them to within those boundaries, upper cool. and lower. And this one here, in fact, I'm going to color this just temporarily a different color because I want I want to remind myself to go back to it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So if I do that, I think, why have I colored it that? And then I will suddenly <laughs> yeah. remember and think, oh, okay. So I'm going to switch <laughs> to the curvature pen tool again because you'll notice how easy it makes me to draw things like that O. Yeah. And, there. and all I'm going to do is click, and then I'm just going to move this across. Because it's the curvature pen tool, it just moves the point. I don't need to hold down any other key to do it. So I can release there. I can then go to the top of where I think that bowl for the B should be. That's a difficult thing to say when you're talking about a bee. And then I'm just going to drag this one in like so. I love this tool so much. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a good tool. It is. Okay, that's cool where that is. I'm just going to hit escape just to come away from that. I'm also going to grab this first point here and just make a couple of small modifications to that. There we go. And then I can pull these points around without having to switch to any other tool. If you've not tried the curvature pen tool yet, give it a go. Give it a go, yeah. Yes. So I've got an idea for our next stream, Tony. Not as in okay. not this week. Uh Annika needs a um save now t-shirt. So I think we should do a live stream stream where we design Annika a t-shirt. Someone's someone said in the chat, Annika needs Jeffrey said, Annika needs save. Annika save needs to be on a t-shirt and then but Annika said that she's getting a neon sign I hope you do get one Annika and it's in the back of all your live streams that would just be amazing <laughs> but I yeah. think I've I think we should I've got a name do... your layers hat oh nice oh that's cool I've been um you know you met you mentioned that I've been running so I started running a few weeks ago and in Wales it rains a lot so I've just had to suck up the fact that I'm gonna have to run in the rain but what I, my the issue I've been having is I hate wearing contact lenses so I and I'm wearing my glasses and I went on one run and run I just got like completely like covered so now I'm wearing my cool kids watch Adobe live cap while I run <laughs> I love it <laughs> It's been very handy. That is cool. Yeah, Jeffrey, that was totally your idea. We'll credit you, don't worry. Because <laughs> we've definitely I've definitely just stolen your idea. <laughs> I love collaborative workflows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically someone mentioned something in the chat and we're all like, ooh, that'd be a good live stream. <laughs> Robbing off with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. It's just I'm just this is the other reason I love this tool so much is because it's just easy. Apart from the fact that it sometimes just wants to reconnect with the first thing to make a continuous path. It's like pulling around it's like making it's letter like forms out of a coat hanger. Yeah, or yeah. play-doh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to pull the thing around. Yeah, there we go. Uh I just want to get away from the straight lines from earlier. I'm, I, like I said, I do have a mechanism for how I'm going to deal with that um, later on. But cool. For now, that's good. Oh, going to get a couple of line weights in here, but I am going to make a curve with it. I just like the shape of your sketch letters so much. <laughs> Thanks. That... <laughs> I did they're... do it quite quickly, but I'm glad you like it. <laughs> they're cool. <laughs> Okay, so just escaping around that. And I think I'll make this one just a tad curvy there and bring the weight of that down. Everyone's in the chat saying, how, well, I, I'm exaggerating again. Two people have said, not everyone, um, about having someone needs to invent windscreen wipers for glasses. I think yes. that's a good, good shout. Baseball caps are a good idea for glasses. It, yeah, it did. Um, it did solve my problem. Yeah. Yeah, I was out this morning. It was tipping it down. It was about five o'clock. And I had to go and do some stuff out, outdoors, which had to be done. Mm. Um, but it was it was foul outside. It was really horrible. Yeah. And uh, and I, I was in my glasses and uh, straight away couldn't see anything. So I thought, go back in, get a hat. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is cool. I love how this is coming together. So it's working fairly quickly. Nicely. I'm just doing a quick yeah. save there, Annika, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, anybody, Annika, someone of Annika's caliber would know that to look out for that little asterisk that appears in the title bar there to say, have you saved or not? Yeah. See, like now it's there. Annika's probably tuned into that. She probably doesn't even have to, you know, consciously look at it. It's just. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's got. Oof, and it's sense. there. <laughs> It would have been so nice to have seen you at Max, Annika. I'm so sorry you couldn't get there. Next time, though, huh? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yes. 2023 will be the year. Yes. Nice. There we go. And this one here. I could reuse the earlier E, but I don't want to because that's, I think that's why this is. Yeah, I have the hand that so hand charming. Thing. Well, yeah, and I mean, because that was one of the things that was nice in the mood board, right? Is that mm -hmm. you pulled out that. Um... That's the first hand drawn. Need... Every time this goes to connect like that, all I'm doing is hitting the escape key just to tell it. Right. You know, which is Stop not, it. <laughs> it's not like the most difficult thing to do in the world, is it? It's kind of really easy. Excellent. There we go. And there we are. Something like that is heading in the right direction. Yeah, nice. It's so nice how you can move the points like that. It's really, really good. The the team did mess with this a little bit um, a couple of years ago, and it's never been quite as brilliant as it was before, but it's still really, really good. I don't know why it changed. There's just something going on with tight points, which is, yeah. you know, but, you know, small beer, as they say. You see, I'm just clicking my way around. People who haven't used this tool before quite often think, yeah, but I need my anchor points and all of that stuff. I need my control handles. It's all still there. If I mm. hit A right now for the direct selection tool and click on them, you can see everything's uh, yeah, still there. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And conversely, if I'd drawn it with a pen tool, but I wanted to mold things around, then I could just switch to this tool. Let's have a quick look at how that's looking just there. I'll just zoom back in on the whole thing. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty sim similar to the sketch. Which is... It's not far away. No, I think, yeah. But I can I can make it, uh, I can improve on that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom in on the eye just here to start off with. Now, I've got that D there to remind me, but I've actually remembered. So <laughs> I can, in fact, I'll start with the D. So I'm going to hold down shift and tap W, which gets me the width tool. Okay. I'm going to go to the end of this stroke. So you can see the line that's... Do you use this tool much? Uh, I Yeah, I've had a little play around with it. Yeah. Not, I, not like this, I haven't used it, but yeah. Okay, cool. so you can see that point that's following me along the line, right? Mm -hmm. You might, hopefully you can see that. I mean, if you're watching on a phone, you'll just have to imagine it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there's a little white dot. Moving there's around. a little white... There, I promise you there is a little <laughs> white dot. So this allows me to then change this width. Now, I, I can just go ahead and bring that tight in, like so to start off with. Then I'm just going to drag that out. And so what I'm watching for now is how that conforms to the design on the outside. Now, if I go in just a bit tighter here... Looking at your sketch, can you? Here's your the sort mm. of projection of your original line. You can see that. Yeah. Now on the bottom of the line that I've drawn here as a line, that's kind of not far off your sketch. Mm. But I need to come in sort of asymmetrically at this point, so I can mm -hmm. do that by holding down the option key. So I'm going to go to the place where I think it should be widest, and then I'm just holding down the option key. That's allowing that me to cool. change that width. Just on one side, yeah. Yeah, and if it's not in the right place, I can just go and drag that around. Can you see that? That's amazing. Yeah, really good. And then it will make, you know, those adjustments for me. There we go. I think just a little bit more would work there. 
I think perhaps I'm going to switch back out to the uh, curvature pen tool here just for a minute and then holding down my command key to target that. I just need to bring this point, this line in just a bit more. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, just to get that into the right shape. Yeah. And then back to this one. The width tool is being the this one to which I'm referring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So by doing nice. this, if I make my way around a couple of things, sorry Liz, you were gonna say something. No, no, I was just gonna I was just saying that that's amazing. That's really good. It kind of adds something to it, right? In mm, that now yeah. it's starting to take on more of what you found attractive about it in the first place. You know, mm. it, in that you've got that kind of hand drawn. And what's theme. nice is that it's still really, you know, like it's still really neat and um, you know, sort of tidy, but it has, like you say, it's got that um it, it's not as uniform as if you're just doing a yeah. straight stroke, which is what's really nice taking away the computeriness of it yeah back in the in the 80s when this stuff all started off it was all about making it very very computery mm. because it was hard to draw things before so, yeah you know. make it kind of makes sense doesn't it that it's uh changed around now that mm. now that it's like so easy to make things computery that actually what people are really looking for is that like hand-drawn handcrafted feel I think people have started to reconnect as well with the craft of doing things. Yeah, definitely. So they, you know, kind of want to be a bit more crafty. I don't know how... It, you'll have to let me know what the chat think of if how interesting this is this bit yeah. is to watch. But, no, I think people are really liking it. But, uh, ooh, I've just Jeff seen Jeffrey say, looks like uh, yeah, the, looks like the, the Simpsons. Simpsons. It does yeah. a little bit, I guess. Yeah. But I'm also going to take that as a compliment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, that, that I might have overcooked that a little bit just there, but I can rectify it because I'm just going to take that point up to the very end. Yeah, and I'm just going to basically wiggle all of these around just a little bit just to make sure that none of them now are perfectly yeah. straight. Uh, now this one, because it's affecting it overall, can you see that? Yeah. So the top's getting wider. Mm -hmm. I actually don't want that to happen. So I'm going to just undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a point here, which is going to kind of lock it. So I'm just going to double click there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there is another way I could do that, by the way, but I'm just going to double click there for the minute. And then I'm going to move that width marker here. Now I'm going to come ahead and grab that. Nice. So you see that? Yeah. So it's just changing where I want it to change. That's a lush E. Yeah, that's that's worked out well. Yeah, oh, I like it. Let's go ahead and ban this one out a bit. And this is just this is just a lot quicker, and I think you've got more control than if you were to sort of use the pen tool to trace the whole thing. Yeah, I think I, I think so too. I think it's you've got so many different things to bear in mind when you're going out the way. I mean, it depends. Mm. Which are, the best method? To, what I've, what I often say with these things is the best method to use. It's the one that works for you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? If you're most comfy doing it that way, and if you think you're maximising your earning potential with doing it, because, mm -hmm. you know, let's not forget, this is a business. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, is... yeah. The speedier you are, then, yeah, yeah absolutely. We've got another um, idea for a stream from Caroline in the uh, chat. She says that we should, next stream, we should make this into a font. Uh, that would be a fun stream too. <laughs> Could do that. I'm gonna. I'll, I'm making notes. Well, I'll be uh, chatting to Melanie yep. later with all our live stream <laughs> ideas. <laughs> is Melanie still in the chat? Is she? I'm not herself? sure. This is what I want to know. I haven't seen her. <laughs> Hopefully, she's enjoying herself. We were teasing. We te well. I actually. I'm not going to say we. We're teasing. It was you, Melanie. Yesterday, it was me. I was teasing <laughs> Melanie yesterday because Melanie messaged Liz and I, and uh, and just just to check in that we were all excited and ready for today's stream. And we said, or I said, I'm not. I'm not. I'm there I go again. Take me down when, with you. Dragon. <laughs> I said, uh, let's say yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Melanie. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I promise I'll be a better person. <laughs> I like how that X is looking. That's nice. Yeah, it's kind of, and it, it doesn't look computer generated sexy. at all. No. So it's kind of nice. Uh, Melanie says, of course, I'm watching and listening carefully. <laughs> oh, dear. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> oh, good, good. That's good, Melanie. It's good, it's good. I'm glad you're here. We hope you're enjoying it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, actually, that was a bit of an accident. I've got <laughs> yeah. to be honest. I, I quite trying... like it. Now, this is when it, it can bite you, right? Because okay. what's happened here, I'm just going to double... I've got switched to my selection tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just going to double click on that part of that character that I'm drawing. So basically this line segment to show you what, what's happened there. Because I've set the end cap roundness <clears throat> at the beginning so that I've got these nice round edges. It's held on to the original weight there, with, uh, but I've put the width point in the wrong place and I couldn't access it because it was connecting with the line underneath. So okay. all I need to do to correct that is just bring the width marker along okay. like so. And then yeah. I end up with doing it. And that's why illustrator is so, I said it all common then illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> that's why illustrator is so good because it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's had a long time to develop all these things and know how to, you know, kind of work with you. There's not a lot to do with the R there because that shape has kind of, yeah messed with the shape underneath however still gonna mess with it yeah yeah still gonna mess with it a bit but that one yeah i mean that one looks almost identical to how i uh wrote it or sketched it i should say yeah i know what you meant everyone knew what you meant we're all good <laughs> on there there we go that's nice i'm gonna go out to this one and just pull that. Out Melanie of the way. said that she had a sleepless night haunted by your message. <laughs> so you should feel bad. <laughs> I I love that Melanie is now playing the game. <laughs> I like this. I approve, Melanie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will send you uh, a copy of my calendar as an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. The people some of the people who watch my own uh live stream list, they've they've seen they've seen the calendar. Oh, you thing. Sure? oh yeah, yeah, I did it on uh I'm <laughs> surprised that you're not you have as an apology. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, yeah, if anyone, well, I'm sure people can go back and watch your, your live streams if they want to see the calendar that we're referring to. Oh, dear. <laughs> Something I made for my wife as a joke, but it um, it um it's actually worked brilliantly because <laughs> uh, one of our daughters normally makes our house calendar every year with pictures of grandchildren and whatever on it. Uh, and this year she messed up. So, so they're stuck Sharon, with yours. Sharon's how to use mine. She's <laughs> so excited. <laughs> the calendar. <laughs> yes, the calendar. Oh dear. Oh, my dear. my face is hurting from laughing so much. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, I've got um uh, one day it would be really lovely if you, Maddie, and I could stream together. That would be very fun. Oh, that would be fun. Very, yeah. very fun. Um, I have got a real nice surprise for the next time I should sit. No. I am um, over Christmas. I sent Maddie a video of me practicing my nose flutes. <laughs> Just for context, Maddie gave a few of us nose flutes uh, last time we were all together. She's really into them. So I'm practicing so that I can be she, part of her nose really blue orchestra. Them. She really is. <laughs> I'm just making uh, an adjustment here to this character. She really, really is, really is into them. It's uh, it's quite fun. Do you know what? When because um, Maddie and I used to work together, um, and I helped her out with the project when she was first at Adobe, and uh, she, do you know what she said to me? <laughs> No. She said, um, "She said, if you annoy me, I'll inhale you." 
love it. It's so funny. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I think that works. Let's just change over that uh, yeah, color to, to, yeah, same as the rest there. Oh, there's a couple of, there's a little bouncy bounce. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, was... and it's not the same black. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, you, <laughs> I'll join those together in just a moment. So, um, you know, in the, in the, um, yep. like bottom bit, is there like a little hairline cut in the bottom bit of the D? In the bowl, I should say. Do you know in the bowl. Like, oh, there is. Like really Good tiny. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Good spot. How would you how would you fix that then? Oh, I'd need to move the width uh... point there away from that. It might be that I've gone too far. I have. I've gone too far with the stretching of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Outwards. I mean, ultimately. I'm going I mean, to, it's yeah. tiny, isn't it? It's so well, small. Well, it is, but it's getting worse now. The more, <laughs> the more <laughs> I deal with it. But yeah, it's also there's a. Um, oh, the, there we go. Yeah, that it was. Well, still That's not better. Quite there, but it's... it is better, but it's still not quite there. So, here's how I would deal with that, because ultimately, once I've done this uh, with paths, I, I by the way, I, I, I've drawn other fonts actual fonts like this using lightweights the first oh, color cool. font i ever made was called uh, type tomic in fact i might actually let me just see if i can show you that let's just see if it's here oh no i'll load it up for tomorrow so you okay. can see it cool. um that was all done in line weights but then what i do is i outline it okay yeah so, of course so yeah that makes sense yeah so I'm just going to select uh, everything that has the, or I could, if the thing is if I eyedropper it, I run the risk of getting the weight with it as well. So I think, where has this black come from? To which black is it referring? It's referring to none of the above, just there. So I'm going to select everything that has the same stroke color, which that D doesn't have. Uh, and now I'm just going to change them over to this black there. There we there go. go. Nice. Harmony is restored to Ooh. the universe. <laughs> yeah, so this bit here, if I just outline this bit, okay, so uh, shift command, oh, sorry, I, I've put my own shortcut on here, um, but if not, I just go to the objects menu, down to path and outline stroke. Mm -hmm. And I've just, I've just remapped one of the shortcuts uh, that oh, exists cool. yeah. yeah so this one is browsing bridge i never use browsing bridge mm. okay, so the uh, if i want to browse in bridge then i launch bridge manually <laughs> yeah. so now this this becomes a this is just uh i say just um this is a shape, a shape just yeah. here yeah we can see we've got that problematic area there it, there's a point too much in there let's just tap a for the uh, direct selection tool so there's a couple of ways I might deal with it. What I'd be more inclined to do would be to actually cut the path at a couple of nearby locations. Ah, so there nice. and there, for example. Yeah. Then get rid of this bit here. Mm -hmm. Now that's just being filled in straight just for the moment. And I'd then switch to my curvature pen tool and try and join those two things together. Mm, that's not going to work on this particular occasion just yet so because it's a very very tight curve there we go and just bring that in and then switch to the direct selection tool and just rectify the rest nice with a control handle and there'd be some other tools i might use as well i'm going to just remove yeah. a couple of those points there because that's that's not joining together very well at all so I've just switch to the pen tool I'm just removing those points and I'll resolve the rest with the control handles. So there should be about 54% of the way each to be a smooth curve across there. Let's have a look at how far we've deviated from the actual shape. Not far at yeah. all, actually. There we go. There we go. It's very tight there. So I might do a couple of other things to resolve it. But yeah, I think that, that works. Doesn't... Yeah. That looks awesome. kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. So what I'll then go ahead and do is select all of that stuff uh, because it's a single artboard document. 
I can go ahead and just do uh, Command A here. Just deselected the thing that I've already outlined. Object path, outline stroke. There we go. They're all outlined. Nice. I'm going to actually join those together because they are going to live together. Mind you, I'm just thinking for a moment. <laughs> Bit beard scratching. While you think, I'll just say that if anyone is watching us on YouTube and wants to join yes. us in the chat, then head over to the Hans to b.net forward slash Adobe Live. Um, and there's lots of there's lots of lots of people today joining us in the chat, which is really nice. Yeah, oh. We've got uh 25 minutes left, Tony, just to let you know. 25? I know, yeah. It's going Holy moly. quite quickly. <laughs> it's going quite quickly. Um just so you know, I didn't use any of the automated pathfinders there because I th I had a bit of bit of a think ahead, and I just thought, mm, if I join these together using like union from the pathfinder, mm. what happens if I want to do something with them later on? Perhaps, yeah. <laughs> which we. Are going to do something with them later We're on. Gonna so, do yeah, them good. Later on. <laughs> Don't it's give always it a good idea to um, think to ahead perhaps of... have them as separate objects. Yeah, and I do think ahead of that that you know it mm. you, never used to be a consideration. We're talking about animation here. The um, it it never used to be a consideration for me in a project, an illustration. Never think you know. I'd never have to think. Hmm. How will this animate? Yeah. How will this animate? Or what happens if somebody turns around to me and says? Oh, by the way, we'd like this to be animated. Can you speak to our as back then? Can you speak to our After Effects person? And you're like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> and they go, yeah, I need all of that to be split up. And you just think, oh, uh, yeah, totally <laughs> changes the way you work <laughs> completely. There's still a lot of chat about your calendar, Tony. Set. Sarah said, Tony's daughter, I messed up the calendar, everyone. Sorry. Tony, hold my space kitty beer. I got us covered. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've muted yourself. You laugh so hard that you've muted yourself. <laughs> And I oh, you haven't. You just laughed so hard you went silent. <laughs> Wait for air. <laughs> oh, dear. Hold my space kitty. Here. Oh, I love dear. how well the chat know you. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I love that. I thought that was great. I wasn't sure how it would look with the sort of one side being a bit smaller than the other, but I think it fits with the. Yeah, no, keeping with the hand drawn thing because yeah. it's you know you made such an attractive um, job of of that whole thing. Yeah, that why not? Now, so I'm also so, so that there's a way that I could create a really nice geometric stroke around the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, do you know what I'm going to show you? Um, I'm just going to create a copy of this. So I'm just going to grab this option key or alt key. Uh, down, drag a copy across. I'm then going to group that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my appearance panel and I'm going to add a new stroke mm -hmm. to this, right? So uh, now there is a, a a little button down here that you can click on that. I don't click on that many buttons as you're as you're aware. I'm not, not mad keen for those. So Alt Control or Option Command if you're on a Mac as I am and slash will add you a new stroke you can see there it is and you can actually see that around things i'll make it just a bit bigger mm -hmm. yeah so i could go ahead and do that right and then i could go ahead and maybe use one of the special group pathfinders in here if i could add all of those things together let's try that add might work uh, it might not we'll find out in a minute and path and offset path here we ah. go so it's creating me this thing. Now I'm going to need to use something other than add. Yeah, just for the moment. So I'm just going to click on that and change the operation to merge. That's not working either on there. That's interesting. Mm -mm. Usually those two things work. I wonder why that is. That's kind of curious. Normally either add or merge does it. That's 
interesting. Anyway, it's not worked on this particular occasion, right? But you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine with like a that. font as well, it would work. Yeah. A lot, um, yeah. A lot better. Oh yeah, it definitely worked that way. But there, there'll be something in there that stopped that from working, and I'm I'm not going to investigate it now because I was adding that in. As it was, though, I kind of like most of your drawing around here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to my curvature pen tool. I'm going to start here at the crux part of that heart and just move around. And I'm just looking for curves here and clicking at their minimum and maximum. Yeah, I mean, with that tool, it's so quick and easy, isn't it? Really fast, yeah. And, you know, if you if something's not in the right place, you just go and just drag it, it into yeah. another place. If you need another point, you just <laughs> add in yeah, another yeah. point. And there you go. But I want to do kind of a smoothed out version of this. Now, this one here changes direction rapidly. I'm going to stick with that. So I'm going to double click just there, which gives me a corner point to work from. And then just make him my way around. Like so, I suppose also I ought to add a bit of stroke weight to this so people can see it. There we go. Always thinking about that. Always a good idea, I think, uh, when you're live streaming that people can see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not working with invisible light. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've just seen something else in the chat saying I'm one step away. <laughs> From being a Monty Python crew member, I know. I was just, I was just about to start reading the chat. Um, <laughs> the chat. Um, Sarah says that she really likes how the writing came along. The different weights for the S really gives the handwritten vibe. We've got Viola says, "I love cool. how Tony streams are always full of laughter." That is so true. <laughs> Laughter's the best thing it is. ever. We've got, um, so I interviewed Tony recently for my podcast and the first sort of like few minutes is basically just us uncontrollably giggling and we hadn't even said anything. <laughs> so that's going to be an interesting one to be edited. <laughs> I think especially in the way that the world is these days, just at the moment, you know, if you stop and look too hard, it would be, you know, oh, yeah. it can be less fun than it should be. So I think anything that, alleviates that or takes you away from it is is possibly a good good thing yeah so the uh yes nice and so then we can use some of the colors from the color palette like yep. one of the things that could look cool is to have the background all on the black and then the type and the heart in the colours, which could look nice. Yeah. Now, as it happens, I managed to save a copy of your file. Oh, nice. So I've got the colours here. Yes, there Perfect. we go. There we are. So I'm just going to grab those colours, copy them, close out that document, and then I'm going to paste those in here. Then I'm going to go to my swatches and I'm going to click here to create a new color group. I'm going to call this one Liz Tastic. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the colors from the selected artwork and we'll do that. There we go. Perfect. So now I've got those. Don't even need those now. Right then. So black for the shape here. So we'll leave that one till last. Mm -hmm. Now, do we want to do a random spread of the colors or? Well, so the Adobe Express um, like logo is rainbow. So yeah, I think we could have a whole range of colours in this one. We could. I think so too. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, bearing in mind that, that I've made that heart traditionally red. Uh, let's go ahead and change that. Let's, yeah. Let's perfect. do that. Yeah, let's not. And do you know what? I'm just going to drag colours in and drop them down on things. I'm going to kind of just pick. Blue will go in it good next to the orange there do the green looks kind of nice let's do it too mm. Ping. do you know why i've done that in that color oh yeah Arty kiss. nice oh i like that Arty kiss. very good uh let's go with oh there's too many oranges 
in there. You can Let's... use the dark blue. Yeah, these dark. Blue. Yeah, dark blue in the middle there, and nice. also on the very end. No, actually, just here. And green, I think, again. Nice. In there. And also something else just there. Oh, I don't want to... Well, yeah. You could make the O and the pink, because, like, hugs and kisses. And then you could make the... There you go. The, the dark blue. <laughs> there you go. That kind of works. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to select now this path around the outside, which has a black stroke and no fill. I'm going to hold down shift and tap X to swap those over, then send that down to the back. Nice. Yeah. So I guess the only cool. thing that we might have to do is just lighten up that darker blue, <laughs> but we can um, we can play around Yeah, we can that. work on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I wish now I'd made those swatches global. because. <laughs> <laughs> But mind you, that's not, it's not like a massive effort to do that. If I just go ahead and make that global and then just reapply it to these, then if we do make a change to it. Nice. Yeah. Then we can just. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. We've only got yes. sort of 10 minutes left. So 10 can, minutes. Yeah. But we can always, well, um, we can, we've got tomorrow's stream as well. So we're all good. We have. Yes. That's good. That's going to be mainly you, I think, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. But I'll let you have a little bit at the beginning <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm just thinking, um, should this one be... I like the shape of that, though. <laughs> I reckon let's do this one circles, because that might work yeah. for the animation that we're sort of thinking of. Oh, well, that I just... is true. That yeah. is true. That is true. So we'll do circles. Do a big circle on the outside there. Uh, that was smart, Tony. So I'm just going to swap because I can't see what's underneath it. Oh, such fun. Right. Okay. And let's go and use that one there. So we'll go. I like the proportions you've got here. They're kind of cool. I'm also going to need one in between those. I'm going to use a blend. Ooh. So I've selected both of those circles mm -hmm. like so. Okay, now there's a shortcut to make a blend. It's Option Command. That would be Alt Control and B, mm -hmm. or you can go to the Object Menu, Blend and Make. I prefer it this way because it's much quicker. And plus, I'll be going to that menu in a minute, and I don't want to make two trips there. So that's given me a line in between those two. Nice. Okay, which is working really well for this. So I'm going to come down to Blend, and then choose Expand. Because I want the path in the middle, so that's grouped. So I'm just going to ungroup all of that. Let's just make sure everything is ungrouped. And this one, I'm going to change the color of it. There, like so. I'll also increase the weight just for people who might be watching on the phone. Just there, there we go. So they can see all of those things. So do you know what the one in the middle is for? Is it for the type? Yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good trick. Well like done. It. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to use both paths, so I'm going to cut the paths at the midpoints. Just there. Nice. let's go ahead and let's do uh, made in. That's so much better than having to overlay two circle, like two of them on top of each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love that. Yeah, it's good. And then the other thing here, I've got both of these things selected. We'll come back to the font in just a second. We'll make this uh, larger just for just for the moment. Okay, I'm going to go to the uh, type menu at the top here, down to type on a path, and then choose type on a path options. And I'm just going to set the align to Cent to center. center. Yeah, nice. It's there, so it'll be on the line, which is really good. Uh, rather than having to try and <laughs> what I've seen a lot of other people do, try and calculate the uh, you know the the width against the point size. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> Jeffy yes. says it looks like a donut and that we need sprinkles for letters. I like it. <laughs> Got a cool way to make sprinkles. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. So I'm just moving the limiters there. And I'm actually centering the text using a shortcut. Uh, nice. Works in InDesign and Photoshop as well. Shift Command C for centered. Yeah. Perfect. You're so Shift hot Command your... L for left, Shift Command R for right. It's <laughs> so hot on your shortcuts. Ah, so um, good. I do like them. Right. Out of the fonts, let me just go ahead here. I've got your the fonts on the other screen. 
kind of like that nudge wink actually it's not fair i ought to share that with other people so let me just open uh that one again so where it's here let's ignore that just for the minute let's go ahead i think this one will work really yeah. well yeah i think so nudge wink or poster that cup. one or the po i was just gonna say that one or the poster yeah. that i think would work well yeah, we both of them, them look both. like cut paper don't they yeah the, uh, so nudge wink there we go. Let's try that out. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Very John's tight. really John's really grateful that you're showing the shortcuts as we don't see the moves. And Sandrine says, shift command H for put your hands on your hips. <laughs> <laughs> and then jump to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Very one good. does look fun. No drink looks good. What was the name of the other one again? It was uh, uh, a poster cut. A poster cut. That's it. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. I quite like poster cut. Poster cut is stronger. I think so. I think. In I think this for this one, yeah, definitely. I yeah. Think... I mean, I did give it a generous amount of tracking. Yeah, I think it, yeah. but I think it needs a generous amount of tracking. Yeah, I think made in needs needs a more generous amount of tracking. Yeah. Than than it currently has just there i mean i don't want it to go it goes joiny joiny no, i'm also no. going to change the kerning uh i'm going to use the optical kerning algorithm here just to change the relative spacing in between each character that's interesting because that was actually it's like put it yeah it, it was slightly better with, <laughs> i think after effects yeah. needs a little bit more space because you're like f's yeah. and e's are just nearly touching yeah so we can just go ahead and jump into those nicely so let's go get my type tool click in between here let's actually space that out there we go nice yeah it's the f's all of those things that have got a bar yeah there we they're go they're not quite working as well as they might so i can play with those things let's do a quick save there by the way i want to bail at this particular moment <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't, don't want to get showered at by Annika <laughs> no don't shout me Annika <laughs> I'm not sure if she's still in the chat <laughs> oh. checking up on you <laughs> nice. let's go ahead and mm -mm 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 -mm. that's going to be the most contrasty uh, against that so let's get these two things now and I'm going to turn those into a compound path that'd be command 8 control 8 if you're on windows or object compound path make and shift x to nice. swap the fill and stroke over and then mm -hmm. send those to the back shift command left bracket oh I like it <laughs> yeah yeah Looking good or shift control left bracket if you're on windows yeah because I think this should actually have a separate color in the middle. Yeah, agreed. That's think what so. I'm thinking. Yeah. The quick now, there's a couple of different ways I could do that. I could either stop it from being a compound path. There, in fact, let's do that. Right. So that's uh, Shift Option Command or Shift Alt Control Eight uh, to make that change. <laughs> Ooh. So I think that's quite strong. Yeah. I oh, might just wonder though if actually and then oh yeah nice i like i actually like the light blue in the middle yeah i think that's kind of good mm. just doing a quick save uh we're gonna need a smiley face i've got five minutes to draw a smiley yeah, five face five minutes <laughs> five whole minutes right uh big eyes i think yeah drawn with an ellipse and, and now because we know we're doing some animation it's making me think all sorts of things when you see like the big eyes yes i don't want them to be dead regular nice uh, and then i'm going to switch to the curvature pen tool and i am going to this should be a very big smile on here of so course I'm yeah basically gonna do big smile like so and then just increase that line weight. Let's put some end caps on it. Nice. Yes. yes. Oh, amazing. Did that Do in you know what else 10 seconds. 
<laughs> oh, no. And now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do Photoshop fun times in the next four minutes. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, what, else, could... what else are you going to do, you said? No, I was just going to do a bit of width tool. Uh, oh, yeah. There as well, I think. Nice. I'll just make it. Yeah, I, I feel like the whole vibe of this is the sort of hand, hand-drawn, hand hand-cut, yeah. irregular kind of thing, so that works well. Yeah. There we go. I think that's... I mean, we could go... We could go... Uh, if I just outline this, I'm using my shortcut to do that. We could go a little bit further with that. Do you think that grin... Is a bit too maniacal. <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> do, do, do you know? I quite like I, it. I, I know, but I, the thing is, now I'm seeing it, and all I can imagine is Heath Ledger in in <laughs> the oh, Dark Knight. Oh yes. <laughs> so I kind of yeah. I wanna, yeah, I'm there just, we go. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to tone that down a better. little bit. <laughs> yeah. It was it was starting to scare me. To a bit be less honest. scary. <laughs> I mean, we do have. I mean, we've got options here now. Now these are just shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, here we do have some options. We could go ahead and add a bit of computer styley uh, distortion uh, to it, so we could try tweak. Ooh. Yeah, now, now these are high values, right? For this, so I, mm. maybe if I bring this down to like two percent, and I bring the vertical down. That's such a good idea for just yeah, adding a little bit of. You know, just to change it out a little bit, that might work. It's working quite well on the ellipses because they're not nice. quite so regular. Not working yeah. quite as well on this one. So I'm just going to trash that effect for the smile. But what I might do is go for something like Ruffin. <laughs> that not looks, like that. <laughs> no, that's really Heath Ledger now. Uh, and I'm going to go for Absolute and I'm going to bring this up to i'm gonna yeah maybe just type in one. a decimal decimal yeah point three yeah maybe maybe point four Ooh. <laughs> what? yes i think that's that's good yeah that that works pretty well yeah and then it I matches think. the um font because it's got that cut out like yeah. look and feel i love it Full on tall bass. Now. <laughs> Sandrine says I I get some the shining vibes here. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh man. And then do you reckon those in? Oh yeah, we, we were gonna have black in there, weren't they? So actually, it does work in the black to keep that um yeah. running through them all. Yeah. I still think I need to do a tiny bit of work with uh, with this just to make those a bit more friendly there's just a tad too narrow for my taste but we've got one minute left tony maybe we should one um, minute yeah we can say we ought to wrap up really yes we should wrap up yeah yes but we're gonna be back tomorrow so we don't are. worry and on thursday so we'll be back tomorrow at 12 gmt again yes. um and we're gonna be finishing off in illustrator but also we're gonna be working in adobe express which will be fun <laughs> making will. some templates getting our brand kit all set up um so yeah we hope that you can join us tomorrow and thank you so much for all the fun and laughs in the chat we've had a really great time we have um and thanks thanks tony for all the shortcut uh, lessons and just yeah showing us how to do these in the best way Oh, thanks. And thank you, Liz, for, for <laughs> sorting out all the colours and all that stuff and doing all the heavy lifting and choosing <laughs> all those bits and just letting me have a fun time drawing. <laughs> oh, it's been great. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.